Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with a different kind of video this time. Uh, the regularly scheduled video for this morning I'm releasing tomorrow. I'm ahead by about four days, but there a topic came up that I need to address. And I've been ignoring it and not intentionally not addressing it for too long now because really, if you mention cheating in COD, then the cheaters come out of the woodwork. They give you the thumbs down and they try to ratio your video. And for somebody like me that's a brand new YouTuber and who would like to make some income someday off of it, that could be a killer. So in case you're interested, this is the weapon I was using. I think I wasn't using bare bones. I think it was configured, and this is the configuration. I will be talking about this configuration in a video in the next few days. To set up the story, I dropped into incline, free for all. I was already 11 points down, which means that a number of people had left the lobby, and they just inserted me. Now, it's not fun to get in at 11 kills down, but I don't leave games generally. Sometimes I do, I'll admit that so I decided to play it out and if I lost by less than 11 kills then I figured I won the match so that's my philosophy on that but now let's talk about the cheating for a second and we'll talk about it while the game's playing I'll talk over the game you can see it you can see a few of the kill camps I'm just gonna let it run there's no edits to it so let's watch the game so what qualifies me to even topic talk about this topic well, I'm a 15-year veteran of COD. More than that, I was in a fighter com cockpit for more than 20 years. I've flown in combat. I've trained pilots to fly fighters. I've trained international pilots. I've commanded men in combat. The last half of my Air Force career, I was in the Air National Guard, which meant I flew in combat a lot more than on active duty. But during that time, I worked at Microsoft as a senior manager. I worked with the software engineers. I was a software engineer, not at Microsoft, but my software has flown in space. I was a contractor to NASA, so I understand technology. And let's get another ground rule. Don't gaslight me. Don't tell me just to get better. Look at this guy here. Don't tell me just get better, that it's not cheating, that you can do this, that whatever your gaslight is going to be because unless you've had a career unless you've contributed something to the economy if you just sat around at home or in school or whatever you've got a lot to learn don't gaslight me i've seen a lot more of the cod and i've seen a lot more of the world than many who may watch this video your comments are still welcome just don't gaslight okay so let's let's take a look at <laughs> let's let's take a look at what's going on here. I started 11 GAX down. I've worked my way back a little bit, and I'm starting to understand why people are leaving the lobby. You know, the number one not complaint that I see at the various sites is the cheating. That the cheating is absolutely rampant. And remember, I said I work for Microsoft. Well, Microsoft's a good company with people who care. They care about their software. Look at that, and they care that it's used correctly, and they care that their customers get full use out of the software. They bought Activision, and I'm sure they did their due diligence because they're good at acquiring. Look at this. They're good at acquiring companies. But Microsoft is facing severe reputational risk. I mean, who would want infrastructure as a service or software as a service? Who would even want Office 365 for a company that can't keep out the hackers, that can't keep out the modders? I mean, I'm just saying that. I'm still going to use Microsoft products, but it's a huge reputational risk. And I'm confident they're going to do something about the rampant cheating. I mean, I'm not going to whine about knifing, which I consider and exploit it so easy look at that guy you know a lot of times and in in ranked the cheating is so bad that they've reset the upper boards and rank now activision didn't ban these people they reset the ranks they took away their whatever their progress if you keep up with the Activision Twitter account, you'll know that they banned 20,000, 40,000, 90,000 people in waves. And that's all for cheating. But guess how many people you can block? You can only block 200. 
I play about five hours a day minimum of COD, and I can only block 200. I'd run into at least 500 cheaters a week. That's how rampant it is. Number one complaint on the Twitter account, they talk about it. They talk about their anti-cheat and their ricochet software and all that. But look at that. But it never seems to really do any good. And let me let you know, I love COD. I mean, my first introduction to cheating was in Black Ops 2 when I was playing with my sons. They were quite young at the time. And all their... We were spawning, and there was an invisible enemy player in our spawn that was killing us as we spawned. Now, fast forward to Ghosts, and you could actually see the cheats on the kill cams. Uh, there was a cheat where people could get below the map and shoot up from underneath the map. Of course, you couldn't see them. And, uh, but the kill cam would show that they were underneath the map. That was a cheat. There's cheats and there's exploits. Maybe that was an exploit. I'm pretty sure it was a cheat, as I recall. But nothing compares, in my opinion, to Modern Warfare 3. I can't get in a lobby without one or more people who are obviously cheating. Obviously. And like I said, I've played this for a decade and a half. I know some of you have played for two decades. 20 years in COD. 20, almost 25 years in one case of a guy I know about. And that's his number one complaint, the cheaters. Uh, so Microsoft, and I know there's a cynical view out there that Activision will accept a cheater's money as fast as they will anybody else's. But you know what? It's a different story with Microsoft. Their reputation's at risk. I think they're going to do something about it. If they don't, they're going to be, they're going to pay the price. They just absolutely will pay a price. So I did... <laughs> Get within 11 points of the win there. I got within seven, so really I won this one. So give me your comments on your experience with cheaters. Please like and subscribe. Don't hit me too hard. Peace. Let me add one more thing before the Phantom pops its shoot. I have watched every CDL, Call of Duty League, match from 2015 to today. Nine years, almost ten seasons of Call of Duty. I know how the pros play. I've seen their kill cams. I've had the opportunity to play against pros in several of my lobbies over the years. So I see how they play. They can't do the things that cheaters can do. And it's not just on PCs. In fact, it may be worse on consoles. I know Sony took some action to try to limit the cheaters with their Cronuses. And that's primarily what I see. I see the Cronus cheats each and every day, almost each and every lobby, sometimes multiple times in lobbies like the one you just watched. So it's up to you, Microsoft. Activision has proven they can't do it. It's up to you to save your own reputation. I think you're up to it. Cheers. Peace.